Hey guys and welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last part we took on a lot of trainers and somehow ended up back here and where we saved that guy in the suit and also got that gym badge. So yeah, um, I was a bit confused when I first showed up here. I was like, uh, <laughs> what's going on? Why am I back here? And I didn't quite know where to go at first, so off screen I got lost and tried to find my way. And then yeah, so what you're actually meant to do is come to this tunnel right here, where you'll meet Mr. Green Suit, who's not actually being mugged this time, which I, f you know, it's very nice of him not being mugged, you know, so I don't actually have to save his ass again. It would be nowhere without me, boy. He gives you a repeat ball, so uh, finally helping out people is really uh, again it's rewards, cashing in on helping out people, you might say. I think repeat ball is that I don't actually check because. There's a ton of different types of Pokeballs out there, but most of them aren't really that useful, and Repeat Ball didn't sound too great, so I won't be using it. But if you come here, this is where you're meant to go, to the tunnel, if you remember before, um, the guy actually couldn't, you know, stop drilling and couldn't get all the way through, and I think if you continued on further, you would actually see this. Um, I didn't continue on further at the time, but I think this is what you would see, and it's some guy waiting for his love, which is very romantic and beautiful all in its own special kind of way. But now we know Rock Smash, we can just smash open the we can smash the rock thanks to Rock Smash and renew reunite these two lovers, which that's what I wanted to do really. I mean, sure it helps me progress in this game, but really I just want to get these two together. Wonder. <laughs> Please take some rest at my home. Oh, hey, I know what that means. Ho, ho, ho. Someone's getting some rest tonight. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, let's, let's just keep going. <laughs> this tunnel isn't really that big, which is kind of cool. There's so many pla areas in this game where you think it's like, oh, it's another Mount Moon, or it's another rock cave, or <laughs> it's another Fixby Road, and really it's just tiny. You know, like. Fiery Path was tiny, although um, there was actually a boulder there that we could use strength on. And now that we have strength, I guess we could go back there. Although we don't have the gym badge yet, so we'll go back there at some point. I'm sure we'll have to. So there's actually some guy here with Geodudes, yeah, mixing it up, but I have Floss at the front, obviously. Floss is still only level 16, which is kind of a pain. And Floss up against Geodudes, it's just, it's just not going to happen, so just switch out, you know, the standard strategy, switching in for Floss, or starting with Floss, then switching out for Kips, because Kips is water type, and you know how this goes, it's the standard training procedure. So that's the other Geodude dead, and Hiker Mike <laughs> is actually going to send out a Machop, so I thought, I think I thought, I'd just send out Floss, they're both level 16, Floss is flying type, in theory Floss should just kick its ass, which it did. Got a critical hit. Peck isn't that great of an attack, especially at this stage when it's level 16 and my squad's like level 25, so Peck, eh, not too great. It's not too powerful. Kind of looking to teach um, Floss some other better moves. So, always on the lookout for them. So here's a town. Um, I didn't head here straight away, or I got a bit confused, because it. I swear we've been here before, but we haven't at all. We just haven't. <laughs> this is the first time I've been here. A tiny little town. It's, yeah, it's kind of weird with these towns, or something I've noticed, that Little Root, where you start off, like, has less houses, but it's bigger than a lot of these towns. Like that town near the volcano place? <laughs> you know, the volcano? Mount Chimney? That was tiny, that place. And Little Root seemed bigger, but I don't know. Here we have a battle which is good for me. <laughs> this battle is good for me because she has six Pokemon, all of them level 11 or around there. They're all really weak Pokemon. But ew, it, this is, it took ages. I sped up this battle a lot more than before because it took so long to actually take them all out. Mainly because I have Floss out and I thought, oh, well, that's cool. She has six weak Pokemon. I can just use Floss the whole time. Which I did and you know, got Floss a lot of XP, which is handy, but in terms of LPing, <laughs> and as a video go, <laughs> in terms of watching it, 
Yeah, the, she has Pokemon we've all seen before. I think we've seen a Goldeen before. I'm pretty sure we have. Definitely seen a Shroomish before. Oh god. Oh god, we've seen those Shroomish. And of course, it's Shroomish, so it paralyzes me straight away. Oh. <laughs> but Floss has Peg, so, you know. Level 17, very nice. Very nice. The Rosalina, we've already seen. With breeders, typically breeders will either have rare Pokemon or they'll have a large amount of Pokemon. You know, it's either one of those two. Not necessarily the case, but generally that's what you're going to see. Then she's going to end off with Skitty, but um, Floss was paralysed that time. And Tackle did a lot more damage than I thought it would, so I decided to play it safe and switch up for Eric. Just because I didn't want Floss to die, really. You know, that's quite a step. But that's that battle done. I'm glad I sped up that battle more than other battles because pretty dull. Took ages. And of course we get her number because uh she get she likes the kind of guy that kicks her ass and makes her <laughs> humiliated and then takes her money. I guess she's one of those types. I guess she's nineties fifties wife, <laughs> one of those. We have a bug catcher here who has a dust tox, which we haven't actually seen that many of these Pokemon, so it's kind of interesting that he has one. I mean, we've seen a lot of Dust Tox because of Gummy, but we haven't actually seen a lot of trainers actually using Dust Tox, so kind of cool. And I switched in for Eric because, you know, Floss is weak and there was no way Floss was going to take out Dust Tox. Just one on one. And Eric just takes any attacks that, you know, Dust Tox can throw at him. His other Pokemon is Beautifly, which, again, we haven't really seen that much of. We've seen it a couple times, I think, but we haven't really seen many of them. But I guess that's the way with the fully evolved bug Pokémon. You never really see that many Butterfreeze and Beedrills, do you? Yeah, you see quite a few Beedrills, but you know what I mean. So in that patch of grass, I thought finally I found a patch of grass near a Pokémon Center. So I've gone into Hill and I've made a cut here, where actually I went to that grass and I leveled up Floss because. I've been waiting for a while, well I've been waiting ever since I caught Floss to find a patch of grass where I can just train because um, I didn't do that with Eric and it took forever to actually have Eric catch up so instead with Floss I just thought screw it I'll just go off screen and do a bit of grinding so Floss is now level 20 um, I was considering putting Floss up to level 25 but it seemed like level 20 is enough you know because again all these trainers are like level 17 you know, that other trainer was the level 11 Pokemon, so really level 20 is a comfortable level to be, so Floss isn't going to have any trouble with these trainers, but again, it's still not quite level 25 like the rest of my squads. And I didn't want to be grinding for that long. <laughs> it took quite, well, it didn't take that long, but it took quite a bit of time to level him up that far, so. Or her. I haven't actually, what gender is Floss? Let's find out. <laughs> I haven't actually noted it. I usually note genders. Oh, it is a girl. There we go. She. Good old Floss. And this was very happy. This fighting girl is a fighting Pokemon, so obviously Floss is going to have no trouble there. Oh yeah, also, um, when I was levelling up, levelling up off screen, Floss learned Fury Attack, so I was moaning that Peck. Peck is pretty much its only, well, its best attack at the moment, but it's not that powerful, like I already said, so Fury Attack is actually a lot better. Although, again, it's Fury Attack, so it's pretty random. But here's a new Pokemon we haven't seen in this game before. Dodo. Obviously, it's a first-gen Pokemon, but yeah, we haven't actually seen one of these yet. I guess Game Freak thought they are fighting quite a lot of trainers. We'd better introduce one new Pokemon, even if, even if it is like Dodo that nobody really cares about. How many people actually use Dodo? Or Dotrio? Like, that is one of the like least used Pokemon, I would think, right? Like, from the first gen, anyway. The air is tasty here. What? Well, isn't that nice? I was thinking that there'll be some way you can actually get a double battle out of those two. You know, if you do it just right, if you stand in the right place, they would come together. But, yeah, that little midget fella, or a child, I'm not too sure. It's either a child or a midget. <laughs> it's actually, um, will not battle you, and it's just tasting the air, because they're insane. I mean, you would have to be insane, right? Get a oh. Fury attack, you let me down. But again, Dodo has um, Fury attack as well, so kind of interesting. 
So, one thing you're probably going to notice is that I am still avoiding trainers. I really don't feel like I have to battle them all. And I really don't feel like they're going to have any Pokemon or anything that we haven't seen already. So I thought for the sake of the LP and the video and all that, I would just skip a load of these trainers. Or keep skipping the trainers, you know. If I desperately needed the XP or desperately needed to, you know, fight some more trainers, then I would fight them all, but... You know, I'm going to skip a few. So here's the Pokemon Daycare, in case anyone uses that. I think it, no one really uses it, do they? If people use the Pokemon Daycare, it's, oh, this Pokemon's kind of weak, I'll leave it there. And then, like, two months later, when they're still playing the game, holy crap, I left my Weedle <laughs> at the Daycare. It's now, like, level 50. I can't afford to get it out. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's pretty much it. No one actually leaves a Pokemon in the daycare, just, you know, it's just not that good. You know, because you don't get to select what moves it gets, and you know, it costs a lot of money, so no one really bothers. And you also noticed what I <laughs> already did, that I healed Floss with a potion, because, eh, I thought we were getting to the end of the route, so I didn't really see any need to run back to the Pokemon Center, but we have actually arrived here, where we took on Watson and Wally. So, this game's kind of nice, you know? This game does what Pearl tried to do a lot better, where it has, like, a lot of different areas and you do revisit the same places, but... Because, yeah, we've already been there, but instead of going up, like we did before, and using Rock Smash, we're now going right, so we can go round and go up on the map. <laughs> Maybe I'll show a picture of the map in the next part, but... Yeah, we are going, like... We did just go up, round the mountain down and then a long right so now we've come back to this place so now we're going to go right and then like up and around and it, you know it's the whole thing so we, you know if you play this game before you know what I'm talking about but trust me it's pretty simple actually it's kind of it's kind of cool where Pearl messed up is the pacing because you didn't do anything for like so long at the beginning of the game that it got a bit dull but this game, I already have three badges, so I don't really mind it that much. Now, I know I was complaining about that long route in the last part, but... You know, I found a new place. You know, if it came back around, it, it wasn't too bad. It dragged a bit, but... You know, it's pretty cool. So, this is pretty much going to be the last battle in this part. It's a standard double battle against two random people. Although, I actually have an Aaron, which is kind of cool. Although Aaron's actually really hard to take out, so I guess it's good that I have one. Between Floss and Gummy, they don't have any decent moves against them. And I feel like I've said that before. Is it? Was that about Aaron as well? Or was that a different Pokemon? Oh, I don't know. So I used the classic bully tactic, so the guy on the right doesn't have any Pokemon left, and we're going to take out the Electrike. And that's going to be it for this battle. So in the next part of Pokemon Emerald, we will be exploring this route and hopefully getting to the next town, or city, to get our new gym badge. So I've been Honest on 23 hope you enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, we need to take the Crying Girl's number. Oh no, she was just, she sniffed it out. We have to take the Sniff Dog's number. Alright, well I'll see you next time.